Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Paper Crafting Saturday. I'm Leslie Watkins. Well, Thanksgiving is behind us and Christmas is in front of us. It's, uh, it's shocking. <laughs> it's shocking to see how fast time is going by. But I am excited that today is going to be the 11th week of the 12 weeks of Christmas. If you've been following along, you'll know that each week I've been presenting a free mini class on a different project. And there are 12 in total. And so we're down to the last two. And, um, and we're going to be making a little box today. So this is uh, today's project. So if you'd like to learn how to make a beautiful little gift box like this, please go to the, um, the link above and register for the 12 weeks of Christmas because it's in a private group. And in order to gain admittance, you have to be registered. So just click on the buttons. It's, it's not going to cost any money or, or hardly any time. And once you're in that group, you will be able to see all of the videos of all the previous weeks. And there are some very cute projects there. I'm also getting ready for a couple of Christmas tag swaps that I've signed up for. So one of them is in the Dandelion Paper Pal group. And, um, and that swap actually closed last night. So... Um, so if you're if you missed it, if you're not in the group, you can still join the group. You won't be able to swap with us, but you're welcome to share any images of any uh, tags that you might want to share with the group. And <clears throat> excuse me, and again, and that is called Dandelion Paper Pals. If you'd like to become a Dandelion Paper Pal, all you have to do is leave a comment below, and then on Facebook. Do a little search for the Dandelion Paper Pals and ask to be admitted, and I will, I will let you in. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to mention was that I am involved in an international tag swap, which I'm really excited about. And one of the things that I'm using to decorate my tags is an old stamp set, and it's this one. And a lot of you may remember this, Lovely as a Tree. This was a, a stamp set that Stamping Up had active for many, many years. I think, if I remember correctly, I think it was about 15 years or more. And um, as you know, they, they retire stamp sets after a year or two so that um, new designs and new images can be brought to you. But this was a perennial favorite. It was the exception. And I just love that it's still my favorite stamp set. And I know a lot of you out there also feel that way about it. In fact, um, now that I'm thinking about it, there's another group that's called Something Old, Something New that, um, that features old stamps and dies um, mixed with current stamps and dies. And if, and if you'd be interested in uh, joining a group that uses some old, beautiful stamp sets like this, you may be interested in, in that group. And again, it's called Something Old, Something New. Anyhow, for this uh, current tag swap, I've been using this beautiful tree. And, um, and while I was going through my old stuff, I found some older cards that I made using this set. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see better. You can see how beautiful that image is. I added just a little star at the top and a little bit of gold edge. Here it is again. This time I, I put a little bit of gold ink on some of the boughs and I just made a, a little pamphlet. Okay, and this has this really pretty parchment paper on the inside that you can use for um, Christmas notes or memories or you could pop some photos in there whatever you like so um, 
I wanted to mention those things to you, and I'm going to show you. So, and let me move this out of the way for a second. We're going to need a bit of room for this. This is my goodie box. <laughs> All right, it, um, I've gone way beyond just a just a goodie bag to a box to hold many different goodie bags. These are some of the things that I am making in preparation for my uh, tags that I'll be swapping. And I've got, it's a mix of old and new materials. I've got some of those pretty vellum flowers that I made for you last week that are spilling out of the bag here. Let's get this back where it belongs. So I just wanted I just wanted to give you a, a quick peek at a little bit of the behind the scenes workings here. So you can see that I that I'm getting ready. I've got things, I've got some die cuts started, I've got some papers cut, I've got some fabric, got some tags that I've already started, I've got bits for a um, a tag holder. This, these are the strips from that painting that I did a couple of weeks ago. I showed you how to paint a winter landscape and then I cut it into strips to be able to use on the tags. And I've got some other miscellaneous stuff here. Those pretty wonderful snowflake, wonderful snowflake die cuts. And I don't know if the camera will pick up how, yeah, you can see that iridescence on there. I've also been making some paper lace. So for, for this, I used a retired punch. Okay, it looks like that. In fact, I used a number of retired things. I've also got my whale tail punch out. And I've got this punch. I'm not sure if this is quite retired yet. You may still be able to get this, but I've been using that little uh, corner rounder section on it. And yeah, so uh, here's that lovely as a tree, all heat embossed and ready to go. So you can see I've got a, a lot of goodies in here. Now, when the time comes to um, send the tags out, I will do that. I will, I will ship them out or mail them out to all the people that I'm swapping with. And then what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of time for them to get their tags so that they can be surprised. And then I will share with you what my tags look like when they're done. But I don't want to I don't want to ruin the surprise for anybody just yet. So um, so that's the news for today. I'm going to go get ready for the mini class. That is the mini class for the 12 weeks of Christmas, and everybody's invited. And, uh, and the way you do that is just find the, the link above for the 12 weeks of Christmas. Click on that, and I'll let you into the group, and you'll be able to access all the different videos there. There's a lot of them, and they're um, a lot of fun. I'm going to check my settings real quick here and see if anybody has any questions. Okay, oh, look at all the, hey everybody, I hope you all had a terrific Thanksgiving. So hi Ginger, Kelly, Cheryl, Sandra, Linda. Yeah, Linda says I mix and match sets all the time. Well, you know, that's the way because we fall in love with um, with things that are new that, that we really like, but then we have the things that we just can't bear to part with. And that's why these uh, swaps are so much fun that involve both new and old things because you get a chance to pull them out and enjoy them all over again. Julia's here, hi Julia. Okay. Well, Julia, Julia is uh, one of my neighbors. She lives in the same town as I do, and we have a gorgeous blue 
warmish. Actually, I think it is a little warmer than it should be for this time of year. So it's this weekend is our last chance to get our firewood stacked, to get our gardens put away, the garden furniture, all the all the things that uh, have uh, waited to the last minute, at least in my case. So that's what I'm going to be doing later today after the mini class. So that's all for now, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope to see you in class at 1230. And, uh, and then after that, next week, we have Watercolor Wednesday right here at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. So stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you very soon.